and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at practicing redox equations. If you need more advice on how to look at redox equations and how to understand the redox topic, then have a look at the links in the description box below. Let's first define some words. Oxidation means loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. If you go to page 10 of your data book, then you'll be able to find equations which are all written as reduction equations. If you want the oxidation equation, then you would flip the equation over so the reactants become products and the products become reactants. For example, if we were to write the oxidation of potassium, then we would have a look for the potassium equation and flip it over so that it becomes K to become K plus plus an electron. So the potassium is losing an electron to become a positively charged ion plus that electron which it has lost. An example of a reduction equation could be Fe3 plus plus three electrons to give us Fe. So we have a positive ion gaining electrons to become an atom here. The reduction equations can just be written straight from the data book. Pause the video now and write the ion electron equations for these examples. The first example is the reduction of magnesium ions. This can just be taken straight from the data book where we have Mg2 plus plus two electrons to give Mg. The reduction of chlorine is further down on page 10, which is Cl2 plus two electrons to give two chloride ions. And the reduction of sulfate ions is SO4 two minus plus two hydrogen ions plus two electrons, SO3 two minus, which is sulfite plus water. To get the oxidation equations, we flip them over. So for the oxidation of lithium, we take the lithium equation from the data book and we flip it over to give Li becoming Li plus plus an electron. The oxidation of bromide ions is 2Br minus to become Br2 plus two electrons. And then finally, oxidation of hydrogen, we have H2 to give 2H plus plus two electrons. What we can see here is that for all of the reduction equations, the electrons are on the left hand side, they are being gained. For all of the oxidations, the electrons are on the right hand side, they are being lost. Those were ion electron equations or half equations. We need to be able to combine these to give overall redox equations. To do this, we need to make sure that we have the same number of electrons in each of our reduction and oxidation equations. Here we have the reduction of silver ions and the oxidation of lithium. We can see that each equation has one electron, so we can combine these directly. To do this, we take everything that is on the left hand side as a reactant and we put that into the one equation. And then everything that is on the right hand side as a product into the one equation. We can then cancel the electrons from either side to give the overall redox equation, which is silver ions plus lithium to give silver metal plus lithium ions. Sometimes the electrons are not the same in each equation as we can see here in this one. We have one electron in the silver equation and two in the magnesium equation. Before we try to combine the equations, we need to multiply the whole of the silver equation by two. So we have a two in front of all of the parts of the silver equation. We can then combine as we did before. So we have two silver ions plus two electrons plus magnesium to give two silver atoms plus magnesium ions plus two electrons. We can see now the electrons balance so we can cross them out and we can rewrite out the overall redox equation. Pause the video now and try to combine these equations. In this first equation, we can see that we have the same number of electrons in each equation. So we can combine all of the left hand side together and then all of the right hand side together. We can then cancel the electrons to give the overall redox equation. In this equation, we can see there's three electrons in the aluminium equation and only one in the gold equation. So we need to multiply the whole of that equation by three before we can do any combination. 
we can then cancel the electrons and write out the overall redox equation. A final check that you can make is that your charge is balanced on either side. Here we have 3 times 1 plus on the gold, so 3 plus, and a 3 plus ion on the aluminium on the other side. In this one here we can see we have two electrons in the calcium equation and one electron in the iron equation. So we need to multiply the iron equation by 2 before we do any combination. We can then cancel the electrons now and rewrite the redox equation. In this equation we can see we have three electrons in the first equation and two in the second. We need to cross multiply so that each of them is multiplied by the electrons of the other. This means that we'll have the same number of electrons in each equation. So here we're going to have two iron plus three copper two plus ions plus six electrons to give two Fe3 plus plus six electrons plus three copper. We can now cancel the six electrons and rewrite out the redox equation. In this final example, we can see we have two electrons in the first equation and four in the second. So we need to multiply the first equation by two. Cancelling the electrons, we can now write out the redox equation. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos throughout the year and flashcards. Bye for now!